I'm going to try something this time called something along the lines of dramatic readings of old anime posts. I've gone back to a forum thread, actually a Usenet newsgroup thread, from exactly 20 years ago today, and read up on this, and I'm going to read to you what was being written about 20 years ago in the anime and manga world. Um, and at some point, I'll probably end up putting your text on the side, but for now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read and let you know what this is. So this is being posted on the Usenet news group Rec Arts Anime Misc, which was the big anime news group and really the big anime forum at the time. There was really there was really no. I mean, this was 1997, um, and there was very little in the way of solid web forums. But Usenet was where those discussions happened. So I'm still trying to figure out, and I'd like to get your feedback, chat, in terms of what's the best way of attributing this, because I'm not trying to make fun of the authors. I wrote stuff like this back in the day. We all have had times when we wrote stuff that we're not necessarily completely proud of. So I'm not, again, trying to make fun of them, but also you know, there needs to be some way of referring to this person versus that person. So at this point, I'm just going to use, like, first names. And we will go from there. So the topic of this is about an anime called Armageddon. I use the term anime carefully, and you'll see why. Uh, Armageddon is a Korean animation that was released by Manga Entertainment at the time. So the first post is by Keegan. I just watched Armageddon from manga. It has to be the worst anime I've ever seen. I've never been so confused in my entire life. The dub was awful, and the story was worse. Who at manga thought this was a good anime to release in the USA? If you are tempted to watch Armageddon, get drunk, or stoned, and maybe you will pass out halfway through to spare you the pain. Awful and pain are in all caps, by the way. Okay, response from David. This brings up an interesting question, viz. Anime, you probably pronounce it anime. Anime was originally Japanese entertainment, i.e. by and for Japanese. As a newbie to anime, but I've been struggling with Nihongo for a while longer, all I've really seen is AMG, oh my goddess, 1 through 4, and the second Bubblegum Crash video, bygone Speed Racer episodes don't count, do they? They all seem to be closer in tone to, kabu to uh, excuse me, Kabuki, or No. More like Tsuna no Ona, e.g. than, say, Gunsmoke, Maverick, or Bewitched. I like having my mind bent out of shape a bit, so that's part of the fascination, of course. But if Disney is getting into the act, does this mean the studios in Japan are starting to revise story and plot lines to suit gaijin tastes? Does anyone really want to see Oriba no Konpani? I have no idea what that is. I'm reminded of an old cult SF classic called Attack of the Mushroom People, which seemed to have two versions. There was the American cut, and there was the original Japanese cut, with entirely different endings. The Japanese ending, which wallowed in enough incomprehensible mutual guilt and self-recrimination to fill buckets, was, in my humble opinion, vastly preferable to the predictable, overdone American ending. Response by Arnold. <clears throat> Minor nitpick, Armageddon is not an anime, but a Korean production. 
and in his signature, Korea's got a lot to learn. One more response. Um, so there was some back and forth between, uh, so another person named uh, Brian responded to the original post. Man, I'll have to rent it. If it's that bad, I just have to verify it. Of course, to take the dubious honor of bottom of the barrel, it has to beat out Wannabes, which has retained its title of worst anime I've ever seen. Response from Arnold. As I've said before, Armageddon can't be the worst anime ever, simply because it really isn't an anime, but a Korean production made for a Korean audience. But for me, it's harder to get any lower than Samurai Showdown, Toshinden, and Odin Photon Space Sailor Starlight. Arnold, easy to please. So yeah, that is what people were talking about 20 years ago in anime. Uh, even back then, anime was terrible, dubs were terrible, everything was awful, and yeah. Um... Again, I'm, I'm not making fun of them. I was just like this back in the day, I'm sure. But, yeah. Um, so, for a bit of context, again, I've looked up Armageddon. I haven't seen it. But it's apparently one of these um, Korean productions where they just kind of rushed a, a quick story uh, through a, a story together with some animation. And, and like it is apparently legitimately a, a poorly constructed thing. Um... But actually, later on in that thread, somebody points out that it was probably cheap to license, and anime's hot right now, so mystery solved. Um, I do love that I've been struggling with Nihongo. Not Japanese, Nihongo. Um, oh My Goddess and Bubblegum Crash had just come out recently, so they were easy to, to pick up. Um, it's really weird that he talks about Gunsmoke, Maverick, and Bewitched in the, the mid-90s as kind of like typical American television. I don't get that. Um, and I don't understand the reference to Disney. I looked at the entire thread. Um, I don't know um, why Disney is referenced here, because this was before their, um, pretty sure it was, it was well before their um, licensing of Miyazaki stuff. So that's weird. Um, I'm not familiar with Attack of the Mushroom People. <laughs> An SF classic. Attack of the Mushroom People. Um, and... What were the other ones? Um, Toshinden, Battle Arena Toshinden, was a derivative fighting anime. Apparently it's, you know, it's fine and fun for fighting um, anime fans, but not a big thing. And uh, Odin Photon Space Sailor Starlight, uh, I have actually seen a good chunk of. Um, it is about a giant sailing ship that sails through space. And, like, they try to make it work with, like, these super solar sails. That somehow they have sails that can, like, you know, pull in energy from the sun um, at some ridiculous, you know, rate. So, it's it's a really weird film. It, it, was, it was clearly one of those things where this manga is reasonably popular. We're just going to make a quick anime to kind of, you know, satisfy the fans. Um, but it's really something where... It's more for the fans than for the casual viewer, so if you watch it, you'll just like, why Why am I seeing all this? Like, this doesn't come together at all. Anyway, um, yeah, and no no uh, little sisters, no, no emotos in this at all. Shocking. 